In the last video, I said I'm turning one ton into over a hundred. You missed Brett, you missed Pepe, but you are not going to miss the next wave if you watch this video. And I did. I made over $130,000 and some people in my community did exactly the same. People making hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands of dollars following that exact same thing and we're just getting started. I genuinely believe that Ton is the b and of this cycle. Meme coins, true meme coins will be built on Ton and the infrastructure is already there. If you've been on Solana, and you've experienced rug pulls, people sniping the launch, fake airdrops and false communities saying that they're willing to pump up the price while they're selling on you at the same time, then you probably feel exactly the same way. And I believe that for now, Ton is the next wave and it won't last long. So watch this video, I'm gonna explain everything and why and give you evidence for every step of the way of why I have full conviction in this chain. So guys, let's get to it. What is TON? TON is the open network. Now this is a network built on top of Telegram. Now you might not know it, but if you go into your Telegram, you go to at wallet, you already have a wallet built inside a Telegram as long as you're not in the USA. If you're in the USA, don't worry, I have a few hacks for you as well. But as you can see, same thing as last video, uh, I've doxed my wallet, this is my wallet, I'm going to release the full address on Twitter very, very soon. Uh, we created two coins. We have one coin which is my coin, this is the one which I made on Gas Pump. Uh, we launched this at a $1,000 market cap, the market cap now is 700k and climbing. And as you can see, I'm currently holding 25,000. So I'm not holding the full supply. I trust in the community and I believe in it and I'll explain what ton season is later. I also have Tonka. Tonka is a community takeover. This is where a group of people called Ghost from my private community went over and took over a project to share the message which I'm gonna share with you today as well. So just to show you that I have conviction, I'm putting my own money with my own mouth is, I've got 131 grand on this thing, in two meme coins, I don't know what else to say, right? So, Ton is a network built on top of Telegram. Anybody who uses Telegram right now, including you, you can use uh, Ton Chain simply in literally two seconds. It's way easier to get than Solana or Ethereum or like using MetaMask and all that stuff. Super easy. If you use this website, this is the best place to go because it's gonna show you everything. You can click use. It will show you about uh, getting a wallet, buying Ton Coin. Maybe you wanna accept payments in Ton. There's different apps and also bridges as well. In fact, I will add a bridge video in the comment section made by my business partner as well. Now, there is also something called the Open League, which is what we are competing for currently. So if you're part of the community, all you have to do is go to the Telegram group. With these two memes, what we're using, we are going to basically dominate the Open League as well, which is a multi-million dollar competition built on Ton as well. Now, as you can see, Ton actually has over 900 million users. However, when you look at the chain itself and you compare chains, according to DeFi Llama, you guys will see that it's actually a lot smaller than you might think, right? This here is what is called the TVL, right? And the TVL is the total value of US dollars on a network. If you join a network, you put $1 in, you've increased the total value by $1, okay? Now, if you look at the TVR right now, you look in the top left, there's blue, pink, and green. Green is Solana's TVR, which is currently 4.1 billion. Base is 1.5 billion, and ton is 663 million, right? In fact, we can even move it a little bit further across because Solana's took a little bit of a hit to be very specific. So June 29th, you can see that data there. Now, ton has 900 million users, yet its TVL is below, what, 682 million? So that means there is less than $1 per user on Ton Chain. To me, that's an opportunity because if the chain is good, it's making money, people are making profits on the thing. Obviously the coins, there isn't as much competition, 
However, there is less value than $1 per person. And there were people with net worths, Michael Saylor, <laughs> soon probably Iman Gadji, right? Um, who else you got? Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, right? Hopefully one day you, that have more net worth than the total value of the whole network. And guys, everybody in crypto uses Telegram, right? So to me, that means that eventually people will move on. Telegram haven't properly marketed this in the app yet. There isn't a pop-up or a pinned message that says, you know, this is, you know, at wallet, or they're not constantly notifying users, which they can. They have the ability to do that, which means they're waiting. So what we are doing right now is we're capitalizing on the opportunity the same way that people did with BNB last cycle, the same thing that people did with Solana last cycle. And if you look at last cycle, guys, Solana's TVO on the 9th of November 2021 was over $10 billion. If we just get to half of that, right, that's over a 10x, meaning there's more than $5 billion to flood into these, these tokens. Now, what are they going to buy, right? They're going to buy the biggest meme coins on the network. So if we position ourselves in the biggest true meme coins and find the best communities, then we will reap the rewards when the floodgates open. Now, I decided, and I'll make this full screen, because this is very important. I decided to make a change with my community and my YouTube channel. You guys might have been a part of my Telegram group. You might have been watching me on YouTube. You might have even followed me for a few years. Now, over this time, you've seen an uh, incremental shift. It's gone from you know, e-commerce, Shopify, social media marketing, crypto, venture capital. Recently, I turned to meme coins, as meme coins is the, is the leading industry right now. It's where the most money is flowing in from. That does mean that I do have a responsibility to be fully transparent with you guys and show you the waves and the moves that I'm making. Now, over time, I believe that this space has got very, very toxic, especially in the meme coin space. People were developing strategies. They'll wait for my YouTube video to come out. They'll wait for a tweet or something like this. They'll buy in and then they'll sell instantly on the new people getting in or getting in late. Now, I, f I don't have a problem with that. If it works, it works. And the truth is, is in a week, I would probably call another coin. So it makes sense. Why would you stick and have conviction in something when the next week there's a completely new token? And then people will message and ask, you know, what about the old token? And for me, I have cash flow, so I do hold all of the tokens. However, for you, that might not be the same. So it makes sense to trade and trade. There were many other versions of PPP, sorry, PVP. For example, the gummies launch, right? You've seen the gummies launch, launched, went to zero. Or maybe even the recent baked launch where somebody sniped the launch, made over $3 million from $9,000 by developing the similar strategy of sniping a launch before an influencer talks about it because they know that it's not going to last. And if you watch the video, what did Rand say? Well, guys, it's up to you guys now. So why is anybody going to ever hold the token for longer than a week if you're relying on people who don't have no skills, no experience, they're not part of a community, they just wanted to buy the token because they thought that you would you trust it and you need to keep promoting it. So I had to think about what I'm going to do because I don't want to go down that lane. It's a very toxic, it's bad karma, it's not the move for me. Personally, I had to think, okay, I still want to make money from this channel. I want you guys to make money from this channel. But how can we do it together? So... I picked a new industry on a new chain with very small TVL. The money is about to come in, clearly. It's an opportunity. You guys have already seen, right? Number two, I decided to pick just one or two coins to stick with forever. One I made, and one is a group of guys which I'm coaching. And number three is to actually educate people about the space and give people a safe place to actually learn rather than a shill, shill, shill environment, which gets very toxic over time. Now doing that, <laughs> the reason where I got this from was because I seen a tweet from somebody called Meow. Now you might not have heard about who Meow is, but he is the founder of Jupiter Exchange. So you know the exchange you use on Solana? This guy founded it. Now he has a Twitter account and he said, guys, basically I'm disappointed. 
one of the most important things for me to shift crypto from a PVP environment to a PPP environment, keyword, is the difference. PPP is player pump player, no diddy. <laughs> Communities want the last person to win, key. PVP environment is a player versus player. Those are strategies that I mentioned earlier. Where communities want the last person to be their exit liquidity. So when people say about, for example, when I used to post on, on Telegram and people be like, oh, don't, guys, it's using you as an exit liquidity. It actually wasn't, I'm not using you as exit liquidity. It would be the people who have spoke about it before me. Or sometimes it would be the developers or the person who sniped the launch. They use other influencers, they pay them, and then they use their audiences as exit liquidity. And initially, it seemed like it was, you know, maybe it was a fluke. You know, we had a few projects which launched, which it was like, maybe. But recently, I know that for a fucking fact. And I'm not standing for it. I don't think anybody in the community is either. Neither is Meow. So he says, PPP are by definition infinite games while PVP are by default deploy finite games with a clear endpoint, the last sucker. For example, if I get in early, it's about keeping it going. I go in the telegram, I'm like, guys, we're going to the moon, pump the price, hold the floor. And then my other account, I'm like, sell, 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 DCA bot, cash out, thank you. Next, <laughs> he says, it's because PVP communities are super easy to form since all their members need to agree need to agree on is attracting more people to buy their coin quite literally makes them richer thanks to magic internet money creation. And so they do this And in turn, they should do much more than that. In contrast, right, a PPP community are incredibly hard to build. The key thing is, this is not easy to make, right? Since the core emphasis of the community cannot be around attracting others in the hopes of dumping on them, rather towards having more allies towards building towards a common long-term future together. <clears throat> that said, the future of crypto is most certainly PPP, because even if 99.999% of new communities are PVP, the 0.0001% that lasts and thrives is certainly all PPP. The hallmark of a great community like Bitcoin, ETH, Solana, and hopefully Jupiter, have been communities that are very aligned towards helping every single person in the entrance join the network and win versus teaming up as a pile of money to buy their bags. PPP will always win in the end because it is the mindset of crypto combining the essence of communal vision and profiting. It's neither cynical nor delusion. Instead of having both idealisms and paradigms, this guy's got some like high level English here. It's the only way to move forward in crypto. Like guys, genuinely, like genuinely. Actually think about it, right? How do we move forward as a community if all it is is me versus you? Or who can get on the YouTube video fastest? Or who can set up the bot and be the fastest on BonkBot? How can we build a community? People ain't even joining the telegrams anymore because it's just spam, right? Genuinely think about Bitcoin, right? And yes, you can't compare a meme to Bitcoin because of the technology, but you can compare it in terms of a community. These are people who will not sell because it is more than it is more than just money. It's a movement. Right? Look at Dogecoin, for example, the Dogecoin millionaire. He held his bag for millions, held it down all the way to basically zero, and now he's a multi-millionaire again. And then he got into Brett as well. So when you stay in these PPP communities, not only do you have the direct opportunity, but you also have opportunities moving towards you. It's moving away from chasing money to attracting it. Now, in my hopes, I decided, and this shit, guys, this made me emotional. Like, genuinely reading this, after all the things that have happened over the past few weeks, I'm sure you guys have been a part of 
endless launch, especially the one bloody yesterday. When I seen this, and it's the founder of the exchange, which makes it even more funny, it completely made, gave a paradigm shift. No more calls, no more signals, no more dumping on each other. Let's focus on one vision. So I decided to make a token and I called it Ton Season. I launched it as a completely fair launch inside of my Telegram group, inside of Gas Pump. You can even see it. If you go into Gas Pump, I'll show it later on uh, towards the end of this video, the different apps and the cool stuff on, on Ton. Um, but it's doxed. You can see my name, Telegram, launched on Gas Pump. The token launched at $1,000 and is now at $713,000. And the reason why I called it Ton Season is because our common goal, our PPP vision for Ton Season is simply to attract more people to actually using the network, using Ton, without attracting them with the incentive of, oh, I'm going to get these people in to dump on them, but instead attracting them to build on the network. It doesn't even matter if they buy and hold the token. I've got people who work inside a ton season who hold no tokens because they're just that focused on the vision. On the contrary, I've got people inside a ton season who have a nine to five and two kids but are holding six figure bags and they won't sell it. If they do, I'll OTC it off them, no problem. That means off the market. Then we have TCAT. TCAT is called Toncat and this is a community takeover. This is a community takeover by my private group. I'm not shilling my private group, by the way. You can't join it. I'm not, there's no links to join it. But the point is, is that they took over this project at $5,000 market cap. And it's now, at, it's past that. This isn't the, the real market cap, unfortunately. But it's about uh, over a million. I think it's 1.1 1 .1, uh, million for TCAP. It's just having a couple of errors on deck, deck screen for Tom. Now... The funny thing is, is this meme is a dedication to Meow. So Toncat, if you go inside of the groups, and I'll leave the links below, but Toncat is a dedication to Meow. It's actually, it's got the same logo as Meow's white paper, which makes it even more funny. Now, these will be the only two Ton calls that I will ever make. In fact, I'm even considering moving completely away from Solana. The reason for this is because, again, it aligns with what it says here, guys. Like, I'm not just reading this for the sake of it. Like, this, what this person has said and what he is, he is thought of, it still gives me goosebumps. Because, again, it says, it doesn't matter about the 99.999%. But the 0.01 that stay, that tiny group of crypto groups that stay and just survive, will stand the test of time. And we're seeing that, right? Tonka, as you can see here with the meow, is number 23 on the whole entire of Deck Screener. It's been three or four days, right? TSE is climbing up. It's somewhere down here. You'll see it. Now, Ton Season symbolizes Ton Season. So when we see the DeFi Llama go up, and when we see Ton start to look like Solana last cycle, remember Solana will be bigger. So it's not about flipping Solana. The whole network is going to grow. Ton season will be the pinnacle meme there. And unlike other communities, it's not going to be one of those pump and dump things where everybody's just like, guys, oh, let's go, price is going up. But it's going to be actually having daily calls, linking up in the community and educating people about Ton and also about the vision of PPP. TCAT is obviously the number one cat meme. I think it's already number two in three days uh, on ton, which is perfect, right? So what do people do? Well, you can see the other meme here is Pavel Dwov. He's the founder of Telegram. So obviously that's going to do well. Resistance cat is up here at 5.5 million. So once we get up to 5.5 million, we will be the number one cat meme on ton. Now, if you think about it, whenever crypto pops off, well, what are the top memes, right? If you look at it, and bear in mind, guys, there is no number one meme on Ton yet, not one. There is like not coin, but not coin was another VC airdrop PVP. Again, it wasn't an organic meme. Dogecoin, you used to be able to mine Dogecoin. Anyone could mine it. The supply was completely out there. 
And guess what? It went absolutely parabolic. Shiba Inu, again, a group of core knit people. Pepe, same. Dog with Heart, the developer sold $1,400. So $1,400. And right now, he could have made over $60 million. Right? It's currently sat at a market cap of $2.25 billion. Bonk, similar. Floki, similar. Brett, as you guys already know, you can see it on Twitter every single day. Brett is a blue chip meme again on based. Book of meme. Uh, dog for runes meme uh, Pepe coins shout out Pepe coins and uh, Maga Maga's not even that high it's what 290 mil there's no big memes on Tonya which means any meme that you find where you find a PPP community a true PPP community and hopefully I am going to be the one to build that when we stay in the top 20 we're already in top 20 the top 10 eventually the top five, and when the wave comes, we will be up here. The market cap, God knows what the market cap could be, but as you can see, the blue chips are all past a billion. Currently, TCAT is actually a million, so it's not this, it's just lagging. And Ton's season is 700K. So the gains are still there for those people that are savvy investors, but the difference is, is that we're not trading. We're investing in the network, right? We're investing in this. When this network grows, which is about to flip base as we speak, then you will see the floodgates open, billions of dollars have to come. And when you see it like that, that's when you'll know. It's very simple. Now, guys, in terms of uh, where we launched, I want to share with you guys some of these things. So we do have uh, a launch pad called Gas pump inside of uh, inside of this inside of telegram and guys you can find all of these links all you have to do is head over to my telegram community below literally just click the link comment and ask any question no question a stupid question admins will get back to you what's tcat what's tomcat what's the community what's the contract address how do i buy everything now you can see uh, people are launching memes every single day and they start at you know well if you go to brand new memes they start at a thousand market cap, right? Similar to uh, similar to where Ton season launched. If you go to DDoS, I'll go to my tokens. You can see here, I created Ton season. I can also go to info and you can see it here publicly. If you do want to see what I'm aping into, you can see it here as well. It's like a little social media platform. But remember guys, the only meme I'm focused on is Ton season. It's that simple. Now, if you are somebody who you want to know, how, okay, I'm bullish, I understand, I'm going to give it a try. How do I actually buy this stuff? All you have to do is go to ton.org, go down to use. You can get a wallet there. You can also uh, find out where to buy ton. You can get ton with a card and you can also bridge it from different exchanges too. So thank you for watching the video. If you do want to join the community, just click the link down below. Comment any questions or queries that you have about ton. If you are sick and tired of Solana like I am, and the meme culture, like I am too, people dumping on each other, sniping the launches, holding the majority of supply, the bubble map looking all connected, and you just want to move on, come over to Tom. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.